Now, we have the new U.S. National Poet Laureate, John Burroughs. Oh, hey, oh. Thank you all so much. Wow, and thank you to Rescue, Susan. Pamela, Sandra, and Joe, powerful readings by all of you, and I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to be present while you're here, as well as everybody who's up and coming and everybody who's here. Uh, I, I started compiling a list of people I wanted to thank, and without whom I would not be here. Unfortunately, I won't have time to read that list because I would be here all day. There are like hundreds of people. So, um, but especially um, all of you, the members of the National Beat Poetry Foundation, I am so grateful to, to witness the wonder of you and to be part of you and, and to call you my family. Um, I wasn't going to read this poem, but um, one person uh, I, I really feel that I have not, you know, that I should thank, um, I'm, well, God, I could just go on and on. You know, sometimes you just get nervous, and that's what I think. <laughs> I, I think it's important to be real about that. Um, being the change is not enough. I change every year, every day, and so does everyone else. And why do we change these ways if this isn't what we wish to see? Maybe we have no choice. We do each have a voice, but maybe that's not enough either, and maybe we need to use it or maybe we need to stop and not just be something, but do it. I admire much about Gandhi, and on the surface, his saying, be the change you wish to see in the world, is beautiful. But Bush wished to see two wars and tax cuts for the rich who wanted to see themselves richer, while Bin Laden wished to see buildings full of people destroyed, and Hitler wished to see millions of eyes and wishes exterminated. Telling a hungry mother to be the change she wishes to see is like telling her to be the meal she wants to eat and the money that her pay her family's bills. And as long as she can hardly afford her new baby's formula, our hero's formulas will not satisfy. Bloodshot. Indian summer sun squints. Bloodshot like the wide wounded eyes of someone's cynical Seneca ancestors. On and on and anon, an endless queue of unrelenting conquistadors lusting for booty or bust defile our trust and defame the name of God in the name of God. Opportunity does not knock for we trusting tribesmen, be we from Arizona, the Amazon, Africa, or Akron, Ohio. Riding roughshod over every allegedly endless empire, including America, the beautifully dutiful, the cursed hearse of history leads a parade of pathetic and unsympathetic plotters, plodders, priests and presidents, electable eels who feel their forked tongues and 
dung make them agents of distinction instead of extinction. Sweetly sighing lullabies of liberty and expediency, these leaders open their bomb bays as they pray, first for the unconditional surrender of our enemies, and last, if at all, for the bloodshot souls of the soon-to-be charred children of Hiroshima, Hanoi, Belfast, Belgrade, Baghdad, Bethlehem, New York City, Kiev, and coming soon to a theater of war near you. Um, it's easy to come to, I'm just going to read the poem. <laughs> this comes from our uh, Jack Kerouac 100th anniversary anthology, um, which is a beautiful book and uh, so many good poems in it. Let's not and say we did. Coming from Kerouac's grave and approaching the New Hampshire coast, I see a sign for Seabrook and imagine it says sea broke. Recall that Jack's headstone says he honored life. See myself in communion, like a wafer snapped into, falling backward into the cool Atlantic, or into a warm glass of the beet brand single malt whiskey I picked up on the road to Portsmouth. <laughs> Lines blur, along with a distinction between drown and dissolve, honored and extinguished. Mm. The Frontier Index. 10 pages into Ginsburg's Iron Horse, he's already masturbated, been fucked, eaten ass, and invoked Hart Crane. <laughs> Heroin is the one illicit drug I've never tried because I'm already on my own high horse. Good, evil, and indifferent are mirages, singing oceans on the same sine wave. The beat of a poet's heart is syncopated, lost at sea unfathomable. There are no bad words. The line between living and dying lies blind on the tracks. Wow. And I have one more poem for you. Um, and uh, Redux isn't pronounced ray do, but that hasn't stopped me. I once said, I don't want to be anyone but me, man, really. But then I tend to forget I am you, and you, and he, and she, and the world is a poem. Whether or not we write a word, we're all part of it, and each other. King Solomon is said to have said, there is nothing new under the sun. And he never saw cell phones or personal computers, as far as I know. But what do I know? I never met King Solomon or even saw King Solomon's minds, though I know it starred Richard Chamberlain. <laughs> and in a sense, we're all this poem's stars. Each daughter, doctor, dog, tree, rock, sun, king, Richard, amoeba, Chamberlain, 
comedian comprised of star stuff, the same atomic matter and energy that have been around since long before Solomon's time. So when you slap down your brother, you're slapping down star stuff as well as yourself, because there's no me except we, and we are as large as we are we, and everything's relative as well as correlative, whether or not we've seen the movie or touched the hem. And every identity crisis is a closing of eyes as well as an opening. And may I never write another careless word out of hurt or hate or undue bravado or lack of empathy, but embrace the symphony of all that is and live and love and learn to dance with the stars. Thank you all so much.